Jennifer Priest here and today I'm going to share with you a mustache craft. So this is just a little pattern that I cut out to make the base of a headband and I'm going to cut the headband out of felt, stamp on it with Jen Goody's really fun uh, mustache roller graph stamp from Clear Snap and I'm going to use our crafter's ink to do that. And then I'm going to sew this together and put some elastic on it to make it into a headband. So the first thing you want to do is take your felt and you can either pin your pattern to it or you can just take your pattern and place it onto your felt and trace it because we're you can just sew on the other side of the felt. You don't have to show this side that has the, the line on it. Alright, now that I have my two pieces of felt, I'm ready to stamp on them. So I'm going to take my mat that I used for stamping and put it over here. This one's real dirty. I use it to do lots of projects. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take my, my crafter's ink. You can either use the dark brown bark or you can use black. For this one, I think I'm going to use bark. Now, if you don't like the way that it turns out, all you have to do is turn over the felt and use the other side. That's the nice thing about using felt versus a canvas or a muslin that would possibly bleed through the other side. So what I'm gonna do is just take my roller graph wheel after I've inked it up really, really well, and I'm just gonna roll it across. And then again, I'm going to ink it up really, really well. and roll it across. So now I have mustache pattern fabric. Now you can set this with an iron to heat set it um, to make it permanent if you want. Uh, if you're going to keep handling it before you heat set it, you'll want to um, be very careful not to touch the ink because it can smudge. So I'm just going to use a heat gun to set it just a little bit. So I want to take these two pieces of felt and match them up so that I can sew them together. This is going to give my headband a little bit more body and strength. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to attach my elastic to the back. If you're um, worried about them shifting, I would go ahead and pin them just to keep them stuck together. And I'm pinning so it's out of the way of the presser foot. That way I don't have to remove the pins while I'm sewing. And I'm going to allow about a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, and that way I can trim the edges with the uh, pink inchers if I want. So I'm going to take this other piece of felt and I'm going to stamp some mustaches on it. But these ones I'm going to use to make some applique. So again, I'm inking up my roller graph stamp really, really well with some Colorbox Crafters ink. And this ink is permanent on fabric once you heat set it with an iron. And I'm going to move my handy little messy mat over here and I'm just going to roll my mustaches across. Now, what this is going to do is this, these mustaches I can use now to create um, appliques or patches. Now I'm going to use my heat gun to heat set this so that it's permanent so I can handle it more. If I handled it wet, it would smear. All right, now I'm going to pick out my mustache that I want to use for the applique. So I think I want to use this guy. And I'm just going to kind of generally cut him out and then I will do the detail cutting once he's off of there.
So now that I have my applique cut out, and I can save the rest of these for another project, I can figure out where on my headband I'm going to put it. You can put it going this way so that it will be on the headband, you know, going around, or I can put it sideways like a little side accent. So again, something this small, you definitely want to pin it in place wherever you want it. And then go ahead and do your sewing. So I'm going to use the machine to stitch around him to applique him on. This is very, you go very slow. <laughs> So it's a little hard to see from the front, the stitching, but if I turn this over on the back, you can see that I've stitched around that little mustache. Now I'm gonna take my pinking shears and trim around the edges, and then I'll be adding my elastic. So this is just gonna make it have a little bit of a fun look, and that's why I wanted that quarter inch seam allowance so that I'd have some space to do this pinking shears on. stash and all I have is white um, elastic which is not good <laughs> so guess what I can just use my roller graph to color my elastic I'm just gonna take this piece of elastic let me trim it to fit for what I need so let me show you how so to you're gonna that. take a measuring tape like one of these um, like Taylor's tapes and wrap it around your head where you want your headband to be at. All right, 25 inches. So this measures 10 inches. So now I need my elastic to be the other 15 inches. But if I you have the elastic slack, then that's not going to fit my head well. So I'm going to pull the elastic, not super tight, but just so tight enough that it's snug. And usually if you measure about one inch less, it's going to be good. So I think this will be good. So I'm just using my measuring tape. So this actually is, once I've stretched it, about 14 inches. So I just want it to be snug. I don't want it to be too tight. And again, we're gonna lose a little bit of this elastic um, while we're sewing because some of it has to be, you know, doubled over on the back here. All right, now I'm gonna take my roller graph wheel and I'm just gonna roll all over this piece of elastic. This is going to take up the extra ink I have left over from my wheel. Oh yeah, I'm getting a lot of good, good ink on there that way. And again, to make this ink permanent, I'm just going to go ahead and heat set it. Now, you don't want to overheat your elastic because it can cause it to... Now, I'm just going to check that this is dry. Wipe any excess off with a paper towel. All right. 
messy mat. So now I'm going to sew this to the side of my headband. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch to do that. So there you have it, a felt applique mustache headband. Really fun and easy to make.